<laughs> Not too long ago, I did some reviews of the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus, as well as iOS 8. And while we always expect a mixed response and some very interesting comments in our comment section, we got a couple really interesting ones that I want to highlight right now. The first one is from commenter Cubanselli, who quotes me as saying, this year's iPhones aren't groundbreaking, nor are they perfect, and then says, but I will still give a 9. You know, I got a family and mouse to feed. Well, that's very sweet of you, Cubanselli, to think of my family and my needs. The truth is, I drive a 10-year-old Dodge Caravan. So whatever Apple is paying me, they really need to up it. The second commenter is Kratish, and this person says, Synopsis. The new iPhones are pretty good, but Android people are more likely to click on our ads, so that is the extent of our review. Wow, mediocre, uninformative drivel. Even Mashable wrote a real review. How far Android gadget, I mean N gadget, has fallen. I'd like to respond to this comment with another comment. This one is from Pixlus, who says, Who wrote this in the first place? An Apple think tank? This smells like a paid off review. Well, I'm confused here. Am I paid off by Google or paid off by Apple? Like, you tell me. I don't know. So earlier this month, Apple held its big iPhone 6 event. And as its special one more thing, Tim Cook announced the Apple Watch. I as someone you may know does not like smartwatches, happened to write an editorial with my thoughts on the matter. It turned out to be a little bit controversial, the comment section blew up, and in particular, there were some really incisive comments on there that I felt the need to share with you guys. Take this one, for example. Commenter HF Vienna had this to say, You name it yourself, dear Joseph. You just don't get it. Your story reminds me of the one where somebody brings home an almost drowned child, which was rescued, and the parents just asked, where's the hat? What does that even mean? You're fired. Where is the hat anyway? This is the new iPhone 6. And this is the new iPhone 6 Plus. They're the bendiest iPhones ever made. They're like Gumby. Yeah, but their bendiness is just the beginning. Even though they're really bendy? Sure, sure, but they can change the way you sit with the phone in your pocket. Bend it like Beckham! They can improve your health. Bendy! They're the biggest, most bendable iPhones ever made. Can you say Gumby? Oh, poor dad. <laughs> My name is Conrad Nguyen. I'm one of the front end developers for Engadget, and I'm going to tell you how I really feel. This is a square phone by Blackberry. It's the, it's the, I'm going to say, wait, no, I know the name of it. It's the passport. So, yeah, I mean, it's about the same size as a passport. Uh, it's heavy. It feels, feels quite solid. I like the feel of the back. It's got this like texture. How do I get out of this app? No, don't tell me. I got, oh, I just took a picture. Out of the box, like I don't see anything that an iPhone or an Android phone can't do. Uh, I mean, it's got BBM, sure, if that's what you're into. Oh, okay, that's cool. How much is it? $600. Would I ever buy this for like $600? Uh, like definitely not. I mean, it's a $600 square and it's weird. Probably not, man.